In this tutorial, we're going to talk about exporting your photos. Now remember that in Lightroom there is no concept of saving and every time you quit Lightroom and you open it back, you will get the final results you got to when working on a particular picture or on many pictures. So let's say now um, we worked on nine images, we made so many changes, we removed color cast, we removed spots, we reduced noise, added sharpening and so forth. If we go ahead and close Lightroom, quit Lightroom and open it back, we will never lose our work. Our work will still be preserved. Let's say this image, for instance, if I open it in the develop module, remember that if I quit Lightroom and come back, I will have this result. It will not be deleted. So things are saved for me, if you will. And remember that if you want to go back to the original state of your image, you just go under history and then click on the import, which is when you first imported your picture, how it looked at that point. Obviously, for this exercise, you don't want to export this dull result. You want to export this nice result that you worked with that has some brightness coming from the top and darkness from the bottom. Now, how do you export an image? Um, let's go to the library module and select the picture that we want either from the film strip at the bottom or from uh, the grid section right here. I'm going to go ahead and select um, the picture with the two purple flowers and then uh, click on the export button. Remember that I'm on the library module. So hit export and then this window will appear. This is where you have to enter, you know, uh, the changes if you wish to make changes and then choose the location where you wish your file to be exported. So the first thing I want to make sure I choose is the location, the destination. Where do I wish to export my image? To a CD, a DVD? Am I burning this image to an external CD or uh, on my own hard drive? So that's the first thing I have to pay attention to. And then the second thing is the size of my, of my image. Uh, the final purpose is a full-size JPEG or is it um, to be sent by email which will basically reduce the size of your image. For this exercise I want to select burn full-size JPEGs and then export to hard drive. Okay, um, so these are the first two things that I need to set and then I will start looking at all these options one by one. Export location is asking me um, where on my hard drive I wish to save this file or export my file to. Um, I'm going to choose where it says export to. I'm going to choose desktop. And inside of that, on my desktop, I want to keep this checked where it says put in subfolder and I will give it a name purple, oops, purple. flowers. Okay, um, the next thing I want to look at is the file naming. Do I wish to rename my file? I don't think so. I want to keep it uh, the way it is already, which is img underscore 3297 hyphen 2. That works for me. It's fine. Uh, the third uh, setting is file settings. Do I wish to change the, the quality, reduce the quality? I don't want to. I want to keep it at 100. I want to keep it a JPEG image. Um, obviously, you can click on these uh, drop downs and see the different options. So I want to keep it a JPEG image uh, for the purpose of this exercise. And then I will move to the next option, which is image sizing. Do I wish to change my image size? Do I want to change the resolution? So all of these um, different things that you can apply to your image are found in this export panel right before exporting. You can change anything you wish. Um, do I want to change the sharpening? Anything in the metadata watermarking? No. Um, and that's all. So I basically, I didn't do much except uh, just burning the full-size image into my hard drive on the desktop. I created a folder, gave it a name, and that's all I did. I made sure not to mess with the quality of the image. And then I'm just going to hit the export button. 
and as you can see right here I don't know if you managed to see but it was quite quick there's a progress bar that shows the export being um, taking place basically so now if I go on my desktop I should see a folder called uh, purple flowers um, which is right here and if I click on it I will see my exported image which is basically that final result so the the beautiful work I, I, I worked um, I exported into this folder so whenever you submit your assignments this is what you should do after you make your changes you export your images and uh, you upload these results into Angel.